with all the news that's surrounding Deshaun Watson, to me, this is an, another big story that has not gotten talked about much. But Orlando Brown showed up to training camp and will play under the franchise tag. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy CGR Sports, and today we'll be talking about Orlando Brown, who skipped the first week of training camp, but will report to training camp to play under his franchise tag. Let's get right into this video. So the Chiefs have their left tackle back. Orlando Brown skipped the first week of training camp and a contract dispute and will report and play on the one-year $16.6 million fully guaranteed contract under the franchise tag. And kudos to Robert Griffin III of ESPN, one of uh, Orlando Brown's former teammates, was really the first one on this news. Um, when we were kind of all talking about the Deshaun Watson, you know, six-game suspension, you know, this also got brought up that he was planning on showing up to training camp, and he did. Brown's pre- uh, Orlando Brown's presence will be a major relief to the Chiefs, who considered him one of the most important offensive pieces and has the responsibility of protecting Patrick Mahomes' blind side. And we have talked about this of nausea over the last couple of videos I made about Orlando Brown that some people don't consider him to be one of the best left tackles. He is arguably one of the best tackles in the game that can play left and right tackle. I recently made a video about Trent Brown and Isaiah Wynn switching, you know, Trent Brown switching from right tackle to left tackle and Isaiah Wynn switching from left tackle to right tackle. That's a big difference. Protection changes. Everything changes once you switch the tackle spots. So, with Orlando Brown being a dominant right tackle and wanted to play left tackle and then went to the Kansas City Chiefs and was a dominant left tackle, it changes the way how the Chiefs can do things. And if he's willing to ever play right tackle in the future, they know that they have a, a locked down right tackle as well. The Chiefs also said that they want to lock down Orlando Brown with a long-term deal. But that's something that will be negotiated again after the season. Um, they don't want to negotiate a contract in the middle of the season. Have that ever be, you know, a conflict of interest. Get it done after the season, which I think will be the best time to get contracts done. I understand that there is agents that will be working at nausea during the season to get contracts, uh, contract extensions done, but... In my personal opinion, to have also the best interest of their, you know, their client, you know, when the agency is trying to get a deal done, I think to get the client in, you know, at, at the most would be the best thing to do is wait for after the season. But best thing is he was set to report to training camp to work on his one year deal and he did. Uh, But guys, thank you so much for watching. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And it's your boy, CJR Sports, and I'm out. Peace, guys.